Hi guys. So um, I went and saw Avengers Endgame, and um, I'm glad I did. Let me start with that. You know, it's a brilliant movie and a beautiful celebration. You know, of everything superhero. Um, certainly a wonderful culmination of you know our patience over the past. 12 years and 22 movies it's, it's it's a great it's a great movie i loved every well not every but i love it i loved i loved it i loved it and uh, i'm happy i did uh, i'm gonna just this is gonna be a kind of like uh the same a non-spoiler review i'm gonna touch on some key points but um they're not gonna be spoilery or anything so that but they'll give you something you know an idea of what to expect going into the movie first off let me start with the positives uh, no, there's a running theme in the whole movie, you know, which will, which will, which will constitute my best, you know, what I enjoyed the most, and that's Thor. You know, Thor for me was the sin stealer for the entire movie. Rocket was good, but Thor was great. You know, everything Thor in that movie blew me away. I loved every part of him. Uh, no, I still feel that there are things about him that we should have experienced in the entire collection but you know this 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 came as close to it as we've ever gotten and i loved it of course um captain america blew me out of the water you know captain america has been you know like on a trajectory i've been expecting him to reach a certain level in the entire story which he never seemed to reach first avenger was a good movie civil war as far as i'm concerned is the is this civil war no uh, f uh the uh second one captain america winter soldier the winter soldier as far as i'm concerned is the best movie for the entire series for the whole marvel cinematic universe um, winter soldier was my best movie uh civil war was okay but uh, on a scale of one to on a scale of first of of first avenger to to uh, to winter soldier it scores a comfortable maybe a seven you know so yeah but this this took it up a notch took captain america to a place that i've always wanted him to get to and then they went a little beyond it i felt they didn't need to do that but it was still a wonderful payoff um uh who else was there that i loved hawk i hated everything about hawk in this movie I didn't, I, just me. I just didn't like it. I mean, again, Hulk is that guy who I'd expected to get to a certain level and they just never got there. And then they brought him back to this level where they kind of put him in a comfortable place. And I felt like, you know, we didn't get all that we could of Hulk. He was very funny, but it didn't work for me. It didn't work for me. Um, Iron Man... I'm not a fan of Iron Man being the leader of the Avengers. Hey, that's just me talking. So uh, it's uh, it's always hurt me when they always when 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 the series always made him like the leader because I thought I've always felt like Captain America is the moral heart, is the moral you know compass for all of them. So Captain America, I mean Iron Man was always getting in the way. But Iron Man hit a peak in this movie, and I loved it. Um, there's a lot of other things that I mean, you know, a lot of things. Before I, before I get into some of these other issues that are in the movie that were wonderful, let's speak on one or two of the things that I didn't like. I've already spoken about Hulk. Now I'm talking about Captain Marvel. You know, the movie Captain Marvel itself I saw twice. The first time I fell asleep. Yeah, that's I didn't like it. And then I came back and saw some of the reviews online, and I thought maybe I missed something. So I went back in and saw it again, and um, yeah, my impressions were the same. Yeah, I got better, more of Ben Mendel. Ben Mendelssohn, he did a great job. But besides that, really, the movie was nothing for me. Um, just wasn't enough. Just wasn't enough. Uh, it was just ordinary, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, so I don't understand uh, why the push. I don't understand why the, you know, the, all the big deal about Cap Cap Captain Marvel was just an ordinary movie. It wasn't interesting. The character was not exciting. The how she got her powers was not didn't work. I mean, there are a lot of characters that have held on. To, I don't want to spoil the movie. So, uh, so, uh, so Captain Marvel never worked for me. And uh, here's a little tidbit: when I watch Captain Marvel, when I want to buy my tickets, 
I could see I was asked to change my seats and this I mean from from what I could see the hall was full you know the theater was almost full but I walked in and the theater was almost empty well almost is pushing it let's say about half empty and that's on two consecutive screenings it's not a conspiracy theory the cinema has been empty somebody paid for tickets and some people didn't show up that's a fact now Let's bring it into this uh, Avengers Endgame. Avengers Endgame was a wonderful movie, and I love the fact that they didn't make it about Captain Marvel. That's great, okay? But they, it was a carefully packaged movie, very well-made movie, and uh, there were about two or three excellent scenes that were supposed to, you know, make Captain Marvel look great. The movie was not about Captain Marvel, but those scenes were supposed to make Captain Marvel look great. And in those scenes, I'm in the hall, and all three times that those things happened, the hall was just silent. There was almost entirely no reaction from anybody else. Nobody, not myself, nobody. And it made me come to the conclusion, and I'm not happy about it, but it made me come to the conclusion that, no, I was not wrong something is up i'm not the only one who does not like captain marvel i'm not you know there were three scenes where she was supposed to look great and she looked great it was well made but folks just didn't like her um so i just had to get that out there just had to get that out there um but everything else paid off now it's not a spoiler as far as i'm concerned um okay watching the th trailers you know a number of uh, easter eggs and things i picked up you know we gotta go back we gotta go back we gotta go all the back they kept saying all the back uh, you know there had to be time travel they just had to be so yeah there was time travel in the movie i don't like how they did the time travel but it made for some of the best scenes of the movie uh there was a character from um, my best scene absolutely my best scene in the movie a character from dr strange you know as soon as i saw that character i geeked out i completely geeked out in the, in the theater man it was wonderful. Every moment that character was on scene, was on screen, it was wonderful. I loved every minute of it. Um, what else is there? Then uh, when everybody came back, that, 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 it was, you, know, you hear all the goose pimples. It's nice to see everybody on screen. Now there isn't. Now that's everybody on screen. Twenty. See two movies, 12 years, everybody's there. It's wonderful. Okay, and uh, I, uh, I loved it, but I felt it was too short. I can't blame anybody for it. It's the only thing, I mean, what else do you expect? That was the only way it could have worked. You know, and, you know I gotta give him, you know, where honor to where honor is, I know where honor is due. Um, you know, Disney, Marvel, they did a great job. With this entire series i am more of a dc fan but i'm not going to deny that um, you know captain marvel no not Captain Marvel, rather the yeah, marvel cinematic universe has been has been an experience of a lifetime and i loved it um just you know so i i read this movie they, they, yeah there's this thing about it uh, yes and uh, i know the 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 runtime the runtime is okay i didn't feel it but the drag there was a portion of the movie that was a bit of a drag then they loaded it with emotional and dramatic elements and it was okay it was what needed to be done i felt it was a little stretched but it was what needed to be done it was good but for me it uh, may have reduced uh, the overall experience for me so i'm over 10 i'm going to rate this movie 9.5 by comparison, I would have rated uh, Infinity War 9.8 and what were the elements that made it work, made this one better for me? Hulk. You know, I mean, made this one weaker for me. Hulk and uh, the dramatic scenes, you know, which I felt were a bit too much, you know, a bit too much, a bit of a slow burn, as I would hear, as, I, as I've heard some people say, you know. So that's uh, my spoiler, that's my non-spoiler review on um, Avengers Endgame. 
It's totally a, an experience of a lifetime. You absolutely have to watch it. If you haven't, you should get your ticket already and watch it. It's wonderful. And um, and I, I'll just stop there, you know, so I don't spoil it. I don't say much more, but it's worth it. So if you like uh, what you've seen, what you've heard, leave a comment. Click on like. And uh, if you don't like what you've heard, you know, leave a comment as well. Let us know it. As well, um, you know, click on subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get other previews, other reviews, or other messages that come from this channel. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.